Many traders we talk to like to trade their live account and also run a demo account to test new strategies. Because you can only log in to one account at a time on the Interbank FX Trader 4 software, you must have separate installations of the software on your computer to be logged into multiple accounts at the same time. Here I will show you how to install additional instances of the trading software. First, if your current trading platform is open, please close it. Now, locate the desktop icon for your current Interbank FX Trader 4 installation and right click on it. Select Rename. Double click at the end of the name so you see the cursor blinking. You'll want to rename this icon to something meaningful to you, like Interbank FX Trader 4 1 or Interbank FX Trader 4 Live or Dash Demo. Then, press Enter on your keyboard to execute the change. To get the latest version of the software, let's go to ibfx.com. Now, select the Platform tab along the top. Then, scroll down a bit and select the big yellow button that says Download your free demo today. This is the easiest way to get the installer for the trading platform. On this page, fill in your name and email address. Make sure that MT4 is selected in the platform field. Then select Download. On the Congratulations page, you should see the download start automatically. But if not, left click where it says Click Here at the end of the first sentence. I am using Internet Explorer. If you're using a different browser, the download process will look a bit different. Here, it will ask you to run or save the file. Normally, I would just run the installation file at this point. But because you may want to install more than one additional platform, to save you time, just save this installer file to your desktop. First, select the Save button. In the Location menu along the side, select Desktop. Then, select Save. It will take a few moments to download. Now, select Run. If for some reason you do not get this run prompt, go to your desktop and find the installer file. Double left click on it to open it. Then select Run. On the Welcome window, select Next. On the License Agreement page, select I Agree. Now, on the Choose Installation Location screen, it's asking where you want to install it. This is where you can specify a different installation directory. The easiest thing to do is to add a letter B or a dash in the number 2 to the very end of the default location. So it reads C colon slash interbank FX underscore 1 dash click B or C colon slash interbank FX underscore 1 dash click dash 2. If you don't like either of those options, you're welcome to add to the end of the default location whatever you would like. Once you have added your preferred suffix, select Install. It will take a few moments to execute the installation. On the final page, uncheck the Start Interbank FX Trader for Now and select Finish. If your web browser is still open, please close it or minimize it, along with any other programs you might have open. You will want to be back on your desktop. On your desktop, you will now have a second Interbank FX Trader for Desktop icon. Let's rename it also. Again, right-click on it, select Rename. You'll want to rename this icon to something meaningful to you. Then press Enter on your keyboard to execute the change. Now this is a completely new platform. It does not contain any of the charts, templates, profiles, expert advisors, or custom indicators that your original platform holds. If you are like most traders we talk to, you would like to have all of the same files available to you in both installations. Let me show you how to accomplish this. First, locate the desktop icon of your original platform and right-click on it. In the menu, select Properties. Towards the bottom of the Properties window, you will see a button that says Find Target if you are running Windows XP or Open File Location if you are running Windows Vista or Windows 7. Left-click on this button. This opens the file directory for this platform installation. Scroll to the top of the file listings and locate the Experts folder. Single left click on it to highlight it. Now, on your keyboard, press and hold down the control button and single left click on the Profiles folder and single left click on the Templates folder. Now, let off the control button. Next, right click on one of the highlighted folders and select Copy. 
you may now close the directory window and the properties window. Next, locate the desktop icon of your new platform and right click on it. In the menu, select properties. Towards the bottom of the properties window, select open file location. This opens up the file directory for the new platform installation. When I'm pasting files into a directory folder, I prefer to be in the list view. To change to the list view, right click anywhere inside of the current viewing window. In the menu, go to view, and then in the side menu, left click on list to select it. Now that we are in list view, right click in the white space around the existing files or folders and select paste from the menu. In Windows 7 or Vista, you now get a confirmation folder replacement prompt. At the bottom of this screen, check the box for Do this for all current items and select Yes. On the Copy File screen, at the bottom, check the box for Do this for the next number of conflicts and then select Copy and Replace. Repeat these steps for the other folders as prompted. Once completed, you may close the directory window and the properties window. If you would like additional installations of the trading software, Simply repeat this process starting with the running of the installer file on your desktop. You may now log into your new platform installation and log into your trading account.